Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We are back and better than ever. We are talking about problems involving vector operations. Um, vectors can be used to represent forces. Uh, magnitude and direction is uh, what makes up a vector. In this particular example, we have two tugboats apparently trying to destroy this giant boat by pulling it in different directions. But let's just ignore that simple fact for a second and think of F1 as a speed and F2 as a speed. And in order to find the speed of the, vo of the boat, I can add those two vectors. And one way to do that is to start with uh, vector 2 or F2 here. And this represents the speed of the boat. And remember to add vectors geometrically, I uh, start with one vector and then I move the other vector to the endpoint of the first vector. Um, so this F1 is just this F1 moved this way. Okay. Um, so we just took this F1 and we moved it over here. And then um, the uh, resultant vector is this red vector. So we uh, started at the beginning of the first vector and drew a vector to the end of the one that we added to it. And if we were able to find the magnitude or the size of this vector, we would know the speed of this boat. And if we could uh, do some trig and find some angles, then we could also find the direction of the boat. So we're going to use that to solve a couple of problems. Um, in still water, Jacques can swim at 1.5 meters per second. Jacques is at point A on the edge of a canal. So Jacques, Jacques is right here and considers point B directly opposite. So he's standing here considering point B. A current is flowing from the left at a constant speed of 0.5 meters per second. So the current is going this way as shown. If Jacques dives in straight towards B and swims without allowing for the current, what will his actual speed and direction be? Okay, so I'm going to draw some vectors to figure this one out. And the first vector I'm going to draw is Jacques. And that tells me that Jacques is going uh, straight towards B. So there he is right there. And he is traveling at uh, 1.5 meters per second. I would use um, uh, J, but that's the unit vector, J for Jacques. So I'll just go ahead and use S for swimming. Okay. And so, um, if Jacques is just swimming straight, the current is going to push him to the right. And it's going to push him to the right at a rate of 0.5 meters per second. So I'm going to take Jacques' speed and direction and tack on or add to it the current speed and direction, which is about like that. So this is the vector C right here. And we know that it is 0 0.5 meters per second. We know that Jacques is 1.5 meter per second. And then we also know, uh, actually, let's see, I want to keep that pink. Let's go to the arrows, uh, the vector. This resultant vector will give me the sum of Jacques' speed and the current. Well, if he's um, going looking directly across at B, and this is going directly uh, fr from the left, I know that right here I have a right angle, right here, right angle. So that means if I can find, um, well, let's, let's call this uh, R, the resultant vector R. Um, I can use the Pythagorean theorem. I can say that the magnitude of S squared plus the magnitude of C squared must be equal to the magnitude of R squared. And therefore, I know replacing, I know that the magnitude of S is 1.5. So 1.5 squared plus the magnitude of C is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 squared. I take the square root of that, I get the magnitude of R, 
And if I crank that into my calculator, I get R approximately equal to 1.58. So that means that Jacques' actual speed is 1.58 meters per second. But I was also asked for his direction. Well, his direction would be, I could, I could talk about his direction if I find that angle theta. Well, using right triangle th uh, trigonometry, I know that tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, or 0 0.5 over 1.5, which means that theta, that's a horrible theta, sorry about that, is equal to the inverse tan, or the arc tan, of 0 0.5 over 1.5, or that theta, oh my gosh, I need help with my thetas, is approximately equal to 18.4. My circles aren't going well. I need to get better at this. Degrees, 18.4 degrees. So we can say that Jacques is swimming about... 1.58 meters per second um, at about 18.4 degrees to the right of his intended path. That would be good, of his intended path. All right, cool. Okay. Well, there's a part A here, so there's going to be a part B. Let's take a look at that. Um, same scenario, I just pasted part B here. Jacques wants to swim directly across the, the canal to point B. So he wants to end up here. Okay. At what angle should Jacques aim? In other words, uh, which way should he go? At what angle to swim in order that the current will correct his direction? Well, if the current is going this way, then Jacques needs to dive to the left of B. He needs to dive this way somehow because he wants to end up at B. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and draw a, a vector here. Um, let's see, go over here. So we know that he wants to go this way and then end up over here while the current's going this way. Okay. And so we're going to be looking for this angle. Um, let's say we'll, we'll call it alpha. Okay. And this is Jacques speed again. It's 1.5. And what did we call that before? I don't want to change it. What did we call it? We called it S for swimming. So we'll say that this is vector S, and this is the current C, and then the resultant vector will be, let's see, right here. Uh, those should be connecting, but I can't really judge that. Okay, and again, we know that this is 1.5, and that this is... 0 0.5 and that this is a right angle okay because the current is swimming at a right angle to to a b here since it's coming directly from the left so i know from right triangle trigonometry that the sine of alpha is equal to opposite over hypotenuse 0 0.5 over 1.5 and let's see so alpha equals the inverse sine of 0 0.5 over 1.5 which means that alpha is approximately equal to uh, 19.5 degrees make sure your calculator is in degrees so to answer this question he needs to uh, Jacques needs to aim about 19.5 degrees 
um, left of B. So he'll need his protractor, I guess, left of B. Because that will push him right back on line with B. If he aims this way, the current will um, uh, push him back into a straight line with B. What will Jacques' actual speed be? Well, his speed is simply the magnitude of this vector. I'll call it, um, uh, let's say, I don't want to call it R again, so I will call it S. No, I can't do it S for speed. I'll call it A for actual speed. Well, this is simple. The magnitude of A squared plus the magnitude of C squared must equal the magnitude of S squared. Simple Pythagorean theorem. Easy peasy. I'm not going to bore you with all this. Um, so the magnitude of A is going to be equal to the square root of the magnitude of S squared. So that's 1.5 squared. I would have to subtract this and then take the square root. Minus 0 0.5 squared. And that is approximately equal to 1.41. So his actual speed would be about 1.41 meters per second. I loved every second of that. I hope you did too. And we shall see you next time. Becker is out!